Yeah, smart war games here. Let's check out another very classic computer war game. Tactics by Avalon Hill. Yeah, originally a board game, but it also so a computer war game or more specified a computer assisted board game that was shipped together for Commodore, perhaps also other platforms, together with a physical map. Uh, you see it here. And also a manual. Internet indicates that this game was released in 78. So yeah, on Wikipedia I read that Computer Bismarck, which we checked out, I think it was released in the exactly 80, is considered the first computer war game, the first commercial computer war game. This year is even older, it seems, perhaps because it is a computer-assisted board game, that's likely the reason why this perhaps is not uh, why Wikipedia or whoever wrote that Wikipedia is considering it like that. As I think Computer Bismarck is basically coming with this visual element and printing you the information. This game is very basic, yeah, we will only receive, similar to our Simulations Canada game, little information coming with coordinates, etc. So if you expect any graphic effects um, and shiny tiger tanks rolling over here over the screen, no. But nevertheless, you could also, I think, play the game without a map. Yeah, like, for example, seasoned chess players do that. Yeah, they can also play chess without even seeing the board yeah, by simply using coordinates. Uh, because your OOB, you will see that is always present, and yeah, the coordinate system is following a basic principle yeah, with uh, letter, letter codes and numbers. This is a nice, nice uh, wits test. Yeah, I recommend to do that. I also played some of those classic war games without even watching a map. Can be sometimes nice um, brain jogging if you into that. Good. Mojo is already. Booted up in a Commodore em emulator, I use Vice, seems to work. Also has this nice warp and pause button. And ready, Jimmy says. Good. Are we really ready? So I waited too long. And yeah, nevertheless, we can reboot it. Now ready is fine, okay. Well, he needs to ask me which scenario. I guess he will ask this any moment. Meanwhile, we will check out the manual. Because um, here, yeah, this comes with three, four scenarios. Those scenarios are not explained in the computer assisted tool, but you need to check the manual. So four scenarios are present, or five even, all play out, it seems, on this map. Uh, somewhat randomized, I guess, by the computer. We will play. Uh, yeah, something is happening. We will play scenario one meeting engagement. He is asking me that, so let's enter that. Now he is asking how many tanks for you. So it is about tactical platoon warfare. I think only from the German perspective, not from the Soviet perspective. I mean, the board game obviously allows both. I think the computer game we will see is not designed for hot seat play. It is basically offering you an opponent, a computer opponent. So we will go for four tanks. Now he's asking, and yeah, the enemy gets eight tanks. I guess for challenge. He's always talking, so I get, yeah, that is the AI talking. If you read stuff like my turn, yeah, it is like, it is the computer talking to you, yeah. So type of tank A, we cannot pick tanks, for this we need to scroll at the end of the manual. And here is the code for the tanks. Yeah? It starts with Panzer Freeze, a late Eastern Front equipment, up to anti-tank guns. And also King Tigers are here. No wait, uh, Panzer 6 was Tiger, right? Yeah. I think both, King Tiger, Tiger received, yeah, one is the Tiger, one is the King Tiger, yeah, the B. 
Thick, very thick, very strong. Yeah, that is a King Tiger, that is a Tiger. So let's pick a uh, Command Tank. Would, yeah, let's pick one Panzer uh, 4. That is Code 2. Type B will be a pan Panther Tank. Yeah, that is a mixed. Normally it wouldn't look like that. But just to have some diver diversity here. Tank C will be two Tigers. I mean, Tank C and D will be two Tigers. Ah, damn it. No King Tiger now. Yeah, I had only four tanks, so I was thinking I'm picking five tanks. Type of my tanks. Ah, he's asking me, um, that is the AI asking. You are Jimmy, that is was a good question. I was hoping that you will pick it based on my selection. Yeah, I mean, it would be fair to use at least here ES1, ES2 tanks. Uh, upgraded K KV-85. Ah, okay, T-34-85. Interesting that he's considering... A yeah, okay, KV-85 is... Better armored. It depends. Yeah, that is not entirely interesting. Yeah. So, Jimmy, you will pick. Let's go for five for Joseph Stalin tanks. Okay. It seems like you're not designing the OB, but you're simply telling him what tanks to use. Okay. So we can already prepare the counters while the tool is working. So I have a Panzer IV. I think it was, what was it, H, right? But simply place them already on the map. Then we have a Panther and two Tigers. Exactly, uh, that is a E and that is B. That will be a King Tiger, so no King Tigers for us, but that's fine. That's my tanks. Uh, for the Soviets, we know that they might cruise around in Joseph Stalin once. Which is... Not here, do you tell me? Yeah, uh, okay, ES2. Yeah, the ES1 was also called, I think, it also received a KV designation. Uh, ES1 is, I think, also using KV. Whatever. Um, yeah, I think those here, right? Whatever. Uh, important here. Okay, he's now printing out our tanks A, B, C, D. Yeah, you can also, uh, of course, change your IDs here. So our Panzer IV is A. Panther, I mean, we can zoom in. You we'll see better the counters. And this tool should work perfect. If you want to know how to import maps, check out the Simulations Canada video I made. Perhaps I will um, out, uh, yeah, this get that de de dedicated video. It is very easy to quickly import maps into Mwazar modules. And this here, this module I'm running here, is working very good. Not only for tactical tank sims that have map support, but also operational. And especially with this change ID here, that is pretty nice to keep track. Yeah, Panther and two Tigers, that is uh, Caesar and Dora. Anton Bertha, okay. So let's see. Uh, objective is X ray 13. Let's locate that. X ray 13. Is the spot working? Okay, lettering is. Oh, I get it, okay. Yeah, objective marker, something like that. Yeah, that victory point looks perfect for that. Good, that is the objective which we will fight for. Uh, the manual also states how victory is calculated, but it seems like it resolves basically around destruction. Uh, most times, uh, sure, if you play super cautious, try to camp out uh, your enemy or retreat, then you might suffer because there's something like distance incorporated. Um, when it comes, I mean, it, how much turns you define is up to you. I'm not sure what this computer program will do. We'll probably go for the official rules. Nevertheless, uh, I heard that from re researching a bit that usually games resolve around who kills wins. 
Which makes sense, yeah. If you two, two platoons encounter each other, uh, it is about living or not living, yeah. Let's need some. Good, um, Alpha is sitting Foxtrot 10. Okay, so we are somewhat away from those up this objective. Uh, this could involve a lot of movement. Hope we will see some action here soon. Panda sitting F9. Tiger sitting Charlie 8. Let's go sing on the hill here. And uh, last thing is sitting Hotel 8. Okay. Good. We are now supposed to give orders. Uh, let's cruise to the objective. I have no idea about the enemy. I mean, in a real board game, you would have an idea where the enemy is sitting. I think here in this game, I mean, I see the enemy tank letters. Yeah, he receives double the tanks you have. But no information. I guess it is on purpose, fuck of war. Perhaps I realized back in the days that is exactly the big advantage of computer war games. You know, that stuff like fuck of war is easily... Easily uh, simulated by computer war games, while with a board game it is always a quite difficult affair. Except for solid tech games, but the multiplayer ones, of course. Okay, Tank Alpha. Ah yeah, orders. Uh, there is nothing explained. That is explained in <coughs> the manual. That is here. That is movement codes. Or orders codes, yeah, X is return, F is fire, L is lock, which basically determines uh, the pointing of your hull. And the map also has an indication here on the right. Yeah, one, two, so it starts clockwise, that is something to remember. Okay, okay. X based. And 7, 8 is something like turning. Yeah, we will see. Yeah, there's also some further information. How much movement points you need to pay for each terrain. And how it is differing with roads. So even roads in the mountains is of course nice, but still will make it more difficult to traverse. It would be a hex like this. And the legs are impassable. And yeah, movement orders, yeah, I will show it to you. We are now in tank with tank alpha. And you simply enter, I uh, need to quickly get that, for, uh, four, okay, or three, 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 yeah, flip up, work out. Yeah, and movement is looking like this three, three, three. Uh, what was the maximum? Yeah, it depends on the movement. Out. Okay, but are you moving the rest? Yeah, I think the rest he moved. He's now sitting Golf 11. Yeah, okay, yeah, because he's driving through the forest, it is very slow. But it seems like the computer will use the maximum movement points. Yeah, you don't need to calculate that in your head. That would be annoying. I want to get this tiger on the hill. Boy, I mean, that is quite a lot of driving to the victory point. That could took, take ages. I mean, that is a single turn, you manage one hex. Yeah, so it is not really the fastest game, I guess. If I don't know where we will encounter the Soviets, I hope I can show it you, but I won't drive around here for two hours now. Perhaps I will keep it basic and drive to the east until spam 
It's not even that easy, you always need to select two or three. Yeah, but three is basically... Yeah, let's go three, spam three. Might even activate warp. So that calculation is very fast. I will update the map later, yeah? Okay. What? Somebody fired on me. <laughs> yeah. Something happened already. Okay. Yeah, action was faster than... I saw something missing. Yeah? As you see, that is getting already punished here for impatience. Good, let's update our positions. Alpha is at Golf 11, already updated. Uh, Bravo Tank Panther is at Juliet 11. Ah, oh, this guy managed to move out quite hard, okay. Jimmy, what is going on with my Panther 4, uh, Panther 4 here? Alpha is Golf 11. Charlie Tank is Fox 9. Uh, <laughs> all those heavy tanks move faster than my Panther 4. Broke down. Kilo 10. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, is there an order to identify enemy? Yeah. Look. Good. I want to know information from Tank Bravo or Delta. Those guys should have nice... Um, what was it? L. L. Okay, you see nothing. Yeah. This means proceed. Uh, don't ride into the, into the river. Wait, one, two, three, three. Then uh, south was what again? Four. Okay, do a move to four, and then continue three, three, three. Yeah, I get it. Good, Jimmy is now at uh, Lima 11. Okay. But something happened. Uh, somebody got engaged. Could be that the Soviet spotted us, but... Uh, let's check Bravo tank. Orders. What do you see? Nothing. Good, then... Dry, dry, dry by Isos Kailarai. Yeah. We can engage warp, uh, warp speed. Jimmy is at Mike 13. Good, then let's move the rest. Now we need to watch out. Yeah, disengage warp speed. So otherwise, I will skip the enemy turn again. So, AI is doing turn. Oh, boss, what is going on? A fires at B. So, here, our panther is under fire by something. I will place a generic tank marker. We don't know where this guy is. Yep, let's pick. I mean, we didn't pick your ES2 tanks, but nevertheless. And that is Bravo, yeah? Enemy Bravo tank. No, wait. A fires at B, that is Alpha. And another tank is Delta, so there must be two tanks in the vicinity that fire on this guy. Yeah? Where they are sitting, I don't know. So, I will randomly place them. And Bravo got hit. Bravo got hit. Yeah, that is our Panther. Let's see what happens. Uh, Bravo has some... <laughs> that is already, I guess, indicating that Bravo is not in a good condition. Uh, definitely some damage here. Is there a way to check a tank? Movement, look, fire. There are more orders. No move, that's it. Yeah, it is a simple game. I think even the board game is rather fast paced. There's not some squad leader for tanks or advanced squad leader for tanks. 
but enjoyed some popularity because I guess it is offering you a middle approach of authenticity, authenticity and fast-paced. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that with the Panther something is not right. Or perhaps it means he has enemy contact. If a tank is knocked out, its facing will be zero. That is a facing. Yeah, that guy is not damaged. That guy is knocked out. That guy is knocked out. We lost our panther. Okay, uh, now we need to watch out here. Delta, do you have any visual? Good, okay, now it is we are built for survival here. But there must be somewhere here. They see us, we don't see them. Perhaps they're in the rear. Or in the south. Hmm. In the north. Delta, observe. Uh, let's update Charlie. Charlie is India 11. Charlie, do you see anything? We are on the, on the high... No, no, not Delta, Charlie. Ah, Delta wants orders. Um, we need to wait, that is a bit too dangerous here currently. No orders. Charlie, can you see anything? Nothing. I mean, we got engaged when we, as we moved here. It was only the Panther that got shot at. Shot at. He was south. Be going like this, perhaps. Panzer 4, check out higher ground at Golf 13. That means, yeah, thanks, Charlie. Move to Kilo 12, join the other tiger. That is, what is it again? 3 3, right? Yeah, that is here. Good, and Panzer 4. Check the higher ground, Golf 13. E5 is at A. Yeah, okay, the enemies are somewhere situated in the south. It is again the southwest tank that draws fire. <laughs> Give me dub double enemy receives double the tanks. Jimmy already struggled with two enemy tanks, but E indicates there's another tank operating in this area. We could either drive forward to the objective, but you want to see tank combat, right? Let's quickly check if A finally sees something. Are you kidding me? It's interesting. Are they concealed? Was um, or is? I read it somewhere in the manual, I need to check the page that is sighting. 
It's immensely more complex than in traditional board games. They psyched us because I guess we were maneuvering while they are sitting ducks there. Ah, oh, okay. And it's a game of searching and hiding. Uh, the staff is critical to success. So we driving full speed. I guess this might also the, the, the distance you travel in a single turn might also indicate your stance. We traveled at maximum speed, which I, could, which I could imagine is really making it worse when it comes to spotting for us. And helps the enemy tremendously to spot us. Imagine simply a tank column driving at full speed. We will have rather a hard way to spot anything, while the enemy will have an easy time. I think that's what happened here. We basically run full speed into an Soviet ambush and lost a Panther. Now we need to slow down here a bit. Yeah, you can also use because this game is incorporating facing. I might not do that because I can simply work it on my mind. But yeah, facing is here. Um, for example, this guy is currently facing south. Uh, those guys facing free, that is you. But yeah, we don't need to do that. Uh, sure, in a bigger tank battle, you might want to keep track of that. Yeah, I want to approach this tree line here at India and Joyet 13 with those two tigers in order to meet the enemy. Otherwise, also this Panzer 4. Might be also better, I wonder, out of this rough terrain, not a hill. Yeah, rough terrain is even worse. I need to get out of this rough terrain. I was thinking that's hills, yeah. This pretty sure gives no spotting bonus, but might even give you a disadvantage, because in rough terrain you might screw up, spend a lot of time. So move that is free. One tile. Good. Then India, f India fourteen. Okay. We don't know exactly where those things are. Oh, India fourteen. That is open terrain. Um. Yeah. Okay. No, it's too late. Good, bring up the Tigers. Juliet 14. That is Charlie Tank. That is... 4... 5... 4. That didn't work out entirely, but he's currently at Juliet 13, yeah. Yeah, I won't change the facing, it's simply because there's a lot of micromanagement. can simply also see it here, period. Let's keep a neutral facing. And not everything I need to input on the map. Delta, same here. Lima 13, yeah, but we need to watch out. That is uh, where the panda was killed. But I mean, where was the panda killed from? Must be from South Fire. Because the most southest units got engaged. Yeah, so press on them. We set ducks here, we lose more tanks. So, drive up to Lima 13, that is 4 4. Jimmy, goddammit. Panzer, 4 getting hit. Panzer 4 KO'd. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the AI even receives double the tanks. But uh, it doesn't look good here. And can we finally see who is firing at us? 
Yeah, finally we see D yeah, and Jimmy. Where, ah, okay, I got identification on Tank Delta. That is nice. So there is Foco 4 in the game. Really nicely done. Yeah, this tank type. Uh, what is 2 again? 2 is direction. What is C? C indicates combat, I guess, perhaps. Whatever. Juliet 18. Boah, those guys firing from the rear here. Yeah? Boah, crazy. Yeah, but if you're moving and they're not moving. So yeah, don't drive at full speed. It seems like this game is more complex than I was expecting. I was expecting some hex-based pants in general, but it seems like I get you getting killed here fast, yeah, for not considering what you're doing. I like that. Good. Charlie sees Delta. That is good. This means we can engage. Orders. Fire. I think yeah, it was fire. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure it was fire. Fire order gar... what? Garbled? This... Garbled? This again. <laughs> what is garbled? I need to check quickly what it's... So it didn't work out, um, because of, yeah, exactly, I know that, that term from radio, uh, from radio, that something is not received in a good state. So you're telling me that this... Do, do you mean I need to... Yeah, Charlie received orders, I guess there's some chance that a fire order might not go through whatever i hope that this will work out let's check out on tank delta look and this is nothing i mean if enemy tank is sitting here and yeah, they might sit us somewhere here i might drive one south to lima 14 then we should see something from the tree line that is movement 4. And he is now at Lima 14 exactly. And the enemy didn't fire. Let's check again on Charlie. And he got... Oh, we got a lot of update information here. We see three tanks. Good. That is Delta tank. We lost visual to this guy. But we will keep his last position. We got two new tanks. Yeah, Alpha was identified at Mike 19. Also indeed here close by. But we got a new tank on the field. That is Bravo. And he's sitting at Mike 18. Yeah. Facing is 4 and 5. Charlie has 5. 5 is, yeah. Mm. Okay, that's a way to change facing. It's pretty sure there's a way. Or will he change the face once I fire? Ah, yes, thanks facing. Ah, that was those two additional. Okay, I get it. That was those two additional here. Um, left is seven, eight is okay, I get it. Good. Um, tank Charlie is currently facing five, so somewhat away from the enemy. I want him to rotate to the left. He is now at 4, that is basically exactly south, that is okay. 
And this rotation already was enough to remove my fire capability. Delta is us pointing itself. That is fine, but I need to see what D can see. He sees A, B, C. Yeah, that is basically what he updated here. And I think this letter indicates what they see, or what they fire upon. Uh, they have... Yeah, that is the facing. They're facing two. Two is... Yeah, they're basically facing towards the objective. They probably might try to rush the objective. And that is, I guess, identified tanks by obvious means. Yeah, that because they fired on you. So we will engage and fire. Perhaps I will this time write it entirely out. <laughs> oh, I garbled. Do I need, wait, let's quickly check. Do I need to enter something to the fire order? A number? Fire order, yeah. And you need to enter the ID, of course. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, that is what we're missing here. Tank Bravo is the closest. F. B. That should work. And we missed, but we're firing. Okay. Good. Missed the Bravo tank. And the enemy is not firing. I'm pretty sure they're moving. Uh, they're pushing. Uh, you see the coordinates changing. They're pushing to the objective because they see we have now not really control of the situation anymore. Good, yeah, we will continue combat. So with Charlie. Uh, let's update first coordinates. Uh, Alpha is Oscar 18. I was guys pushing us hard to the objective. New tank appeared, is that correct? Charlie. It was not even. Q17. November 18. That is Delta. Was re. re spotted. And yeah, there was an echo tank, but currently we don't know where this guy is. Put him in somewhere so that he doesn't. Somewhere in the river, that is certainly impossible. Good, um, yeah, continue firing on those guys, stop them, because maneuvering in front of them, that is, I think, not a good idea. We fire on them. You see, Bravo, yeah, so fire Bravo. Oh, we got one, finally. We is. KO. Race tank delta. What are you seeing? ACD. Fire Charlie. That is a lead tank. Missed. Good, we lost visual to many tanks, because they're pro moving in the, in, probably into the forest. Only P-17, uh, a Delta tank is only visible because he's in the open. I expect the rest is now in the woods somewhere, and behind LOS. 
here in the south somewhere or in the woods moving to the objective so yeah of course let's attack the last tank that is visible closest is delta so he should have a better shot you should see him yeah he sees him fd and we managed to take him out Good, making some progress here. Charlie will push forward. Yeah, free, free, free. Ah, oh, we bumped into. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, we bumped into our own tank. Uh, you need to watch the spacing. Yeah, but I think it is a fun game, it is a fun experience. Winchell combat seems to be quite basic by simply it looks basic yeah I guess on a board game you need to incorporate tile information tank type facing how many shots already were sent the computer of course can calculate this in in a second He's just not printing it. Yeah, he's not printing those twenty percent or whatever, so it's fine. I guess under the hood there is already there is some calculation done. Yeah, very interesting game. I think so. Might be on, despite it's it's being one of the first probably computer war games. Together he was a sport. It's quite a fun experience. So check it out. That was Tank Takes by Avalon Hill. And I will stream a bit more today. See you in the next episode.